Well, if you're into mini golf, there's a unique course in Metro Detroit that might just be a hole in one for the way it celebrates a local landmark. And digital reporter Alexander Bahu shows us around Cranbrook on the green before its grand reopening tomorrow. We're here in Bloomfield Hills at a mini golf course with a maximum personality. Welcome to Cranbrook on the Green, where you won't find any windmills, pirate ships, or fake palm trees. Oh no, because nestled right outside the Cranbrook Art Museum is not your typical mini golf course. No putts about it. We were really just going for a level of uniqueness, so each of the holes has a different sort of gameplay feature. And the course is home to artist-designed holes meant to celebrate Cranbrook's campus and rich history. There's the Gateway, a nod to Cranbrook's famous gates, and Steggy's Escape, featuring Cranbrook's favorite dinosaur with an added twist. We call our Stegosaurus Strata. Um, she's Steggy's little sister, and she is cloaked in a textile that is currently being produced by Knoll Textiles. It's designed by Ruth Adler Schnee. Um, Ruth is one of the first women to graduate from Cranbrook with a design degree. This year, two new holes have been added to the course roster. This one is the glassy green. Katie Mungovin is the designer who brought it to life, intrigued by the windows of the Cranbrook Dining Hall. Well, I was always inspired by the tessellation of the glass and how it, they're, all very, they're all different and they're all unique designs. And I actually learned after the fact that the uh, shapes within each pane are references to aerial views of the architecture around campus. Priscilla Lloyd and her sister created this design, inspired by Cranbrook's Greek theater. So many different parts of Cranbrook, but this kind of like summarizes that, like every aspect of it, there's so much going on here. Is this like part 20? Like... <laughs> Just imagine, oh, no. imagine ah. trying to putt-putt while your friends block your shot with their legs. That's the reality here at the Slum of Legs Hole. A nod to Aero Saarinen's iconic tulip chair. If all of this sounds a bit obscure to you, that's fine, because the goal here is to have fun, but to also come away with newfound knowledge. As I like to say, play as you learn. With the additions, this course offers 11 unique holes for the art-loving public. I'm just so excited for people to come here and explore the campus. Yay! <laughs> all right, high five. Awesome. Nice. In Bloomfield Hills, I'm Alexandra Bahu, 7 Action News. So beautiful and well thought out. Cranbrook on the Green opens tomorrow. We have the hours and ticket info right on our homepage, WXYZ.com. There's a couple of new holes, but I got to play it last year. At yeah. the, like the second to last day, it was open and so it much looks fun. Oh, it looks great. So much yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty campus anyway, yeah. with or without the golf course. Let yeah. me show